On February 11, 2021, Amtrak train number 189 was going from going from Washington D.C. to to Philadelphia, which is Pennsylvania. The train was making all express stops. The train left early that time due to track meet this problem down there. The train was filled with 326 passengers on board the crowded, the crowded pack train, which is carrying the Union Pacific train cars. Express and train number 189 was going through the tunnel. And it was dark, and the lights were still on. Uh, the train enters a dozen land in the city as it turns. The train was going 30 miles per hour and speeds up down the tracks. The train was now going like 60 miles per hour. But then the train passes the red single turning on the stop. Still, the Amtrak train number 189 did not listen. And still going at 60 and now 65 miles per hour. All, sing all singles turn red to let them to stop to switch on another track. But there's only something still going 65 miles per hour now. The train was going too little too fast down the tracks. The passengers on board felt like they were going too little too fast on these curves. This Amtrak train number 189 was about to get to the station soon. Pass uh, another resting one. It's still going at that speed. They were heading towards the crossing, and, and the cars didn't see it. The car almost crashed into the train and backed up. The cars felt, the cars felt like there was a runaway train, and the driver in there wasn't slowing down. One person, the two persons that was the friends, was looking for a red single. But when the next single was red, and the the people on the cars faced their fears that the train could crash somewhere near. Well, all those passengers, the 326 passengers, and all those crews, which is 10 crews on board, or 13 or 15 between that, wasn't going to make it in their first fears of the train crash or flight. I mean, not flight, but and I tried train number one and I, The next destination was the airport. Now, final single, Red. Telling them to stop the train and proceed to the other track. The train was now going at 110 miles per hour down the tracks. They were going too little too fast at the curves. As the train 189 head towards the crossing and passes the crossing at 100 and 
16 miles per hour, delete switch, stop, stop, stop. Hello everyone, Elite Cameraman here. Welcome to the week really does keep getting Oh my gosh. It looks like we are getting very close to episode 67, part 3. Because a couple hours ago, a new leak appeared and as I guess in my last video, The Amtrak train, we're on the wrong track, which is the Frank train track. And it causes their brakes to malfunction because the leaks of the, uh, the engine of the train, which is the CSX, lost the engine leak. All singles turn red. Soon as enough, the train started malfunctioning. But the driver is towards the crossing. The train malfunctions. The train backs up out of nowhere. And the driver of the train trying to figure out what's going on. The switch malfunctions the same time. But soon as enough, the train doors their bell. It tries to tell the pe the people at the crossing doors by the talkers. But to our next train came out of nowhere. The train crashes to another Antra train and crashes. Amtrak Amtrak train number 189 crashes into another Amtrak train which is 150 I mean 192 that left Union Pacific Yard which is non-service and it was only one guard and then four drivers Two trains exploded, making two Union Pacific cars derail with only five passengers. At the crossing, passengers and people saw the horrifying scene of an train number 189 and 192 collisions into each other at both speeds down the tracks. 192 had to stop for repair to get passengers on the train at Washmore Street or um, Davio Street, but it was too late because of their finals last minute. One ninety two received a phone call to switch onto a dirty truck as quickly as possible, but there's another Amtrak train headed towards them. But they finally see it, and four fine scenes tell them. To back up the train, get on the, the other track, and it was too little, too late for the air truck collision. The light shut off, and it got broken. At the collision, it cost it. Five hundred and fifty million dollars at the collision cost. This is the worst fears of the passengers at the die. Almost the whole type passengers almost died, but still alive. One hundred and ninety six passengers and thirty three are injured and dead, and some of them survived. And the passenger cars. They got hurt after the train stopped so hard. Passengers really, really trying to figure out why the train stopped until they look on the other side window, like about right here. 
<laughs> and right over here, when you saw fire and smoke. Four coaches came off the rail at the crossing at, at 5.29 a.m. It was getting sunny out there. The crossing was still on all night. The crash started at 5, 5, 21 a.m. At 5.22, the phone call came in, and then at 5.23, the train appeared in front of them and tried backing up, and it was too late to activate the backup system. Two trains crashed into each other. It was too little, too late, and when it hits at at uh six oh five a.m., emergency responders came and tried train number one ninety two had almost the whole type guard died and the four drivers, the four drivers that was going to. See what's the issue with their brakes with two coaches, and the, the the one guard died after the train. Four passengers was still way inside the car until the, the train backed up and flipped the door on its side and crashed it onto the almost ground. The train was leaning over. A few seconds later, the train was about to clip off its wheels. The passengers, one passenger was still alive. And they cry hurry up before the train car flips over on the side. What the? And then the one, the one passenger died after the train flips on back on its right side, then hit him into the glass if it make him fall. It hurt his arms. The whole entire air track fleet explodes at the gas, at the gasoline breaks out of fame and. Bursts into flames at 5:25 a.m. after the first started at 5:21. Some cars from going out of the tunnel about right here when they were looking when they were driving this way, like like about show you guys right here. They were driving this way. They saw big explosions out of their window. They saw a car. I saw a union, a union Pacific car off the rail. When it came up, they saw more fun, horrific stuff they'd never seen in real life. Two trains collision and crashes at the bowl same time, exploding it. It costed them more money for the Amtrak and CSX work. The CSX track was select to be on that track due to switch problem after the after the six the six train car that's we was leaking due to building problems because. There was there was um a fight going on and a gun shooting problem and they didn't have enough time to do it. Afterwards, the train had to be on the CXX side, and it caused the the leak to get inside one of the wheels. Even 
it burst into like some flames again inside the engine. If an engine air blows blows the fire out, then the leak started happening inside one of the engine cars, making them speed up and making them malfunction glitch. Car number four was off the rail and still upright, but just off the rail though. The Union Pacific and Alien Track car number one and two Union Pacific cars had to be repaired due to due to the rail broke. And Alien Track car number four has to be repaired a little after after their wheel broke. A few seconds later, at six oh five, the emergency response came. One of the uh, the crowd about to flip over on the spot and flips onto the right side. They try hurrying up, try hurrying up before these cars start flipping over on the side and hear these passengers that alive and dead hurt. After the collision, the fire and smoke went away as quickly as possible. But the car couldn't hold, car number one could hold down on. And then it snaps its engine couple off and the flippers on the other side. Two passengers died at the getting smacked right into the head. With the grass and the hard grasslands. More than the hospitals and other things like hospital, ambulance, and police event had to be in a quick response. Almost 26 of them started coming. Then it was 35 of them. The whole cross and streets was closed for five freaker days. The sign of the of these was doing the right thing, but the driver died, and it could have got it could have got worse after getting arrested for for three hundred and sixty five days. And he was fired from his job, but later died at the hospital. They repaired the single, the singles and stuff, whatever it's called it. The, sing, the sign lights, I'm going to call them, that there was turning red. At the last minute, when it was red, the train throws the emergency brakes and then crashes into the collision. It was too little, too late to brace for Amtrak. And try train number 182 or 83, I think. I don't remember. <laughs> and 192. Afterwards, five days later, the people still finding pieces of dirt and lines from the ant track train that crashed. They find little pieces and closings. That happened occurred. They found heavy dirt pieces and broken wheel parts that came off the Allen Track train fleet. And, um, Santa Fe train number 1120 was gone from the Union Pacific Yard carrying ro rotary. Dump co dumper cars. But a few seconds later, they couldn't hold that much cars up the hill. A few seconds later, they noticed that. The rotary car was, was about to flip over. 
take a whole damage on the receipt. So they wait until they get a new train. On November 15, 2011, Santa Fe train number 1145, which is 2939, was carrying into model cars and carrying flat band track cars, which was those tracks you can carry. It was carrying tracks in a, in a one long box car, I'm just going to call it, which is a beam car, was carrying to a cargo a cargo ship, which is ready to go, and we're in a late job. So they hurry in a rush to get there as quickly as possible. Because if they do it in time, they will get a bonus check to go home with. Surprise their grandparents, their moms, their moms, or their, their daughters and grandsons, and all they can show them how much money they earn for this. But these disasters came back. It was two dads, which is Michael and John, it was their both husband and one daughter, two grandkids, one grandkid of an three daughters. Their husband name was Millie and the other one was um Sabrina. They were all they were all at home taking care of their children and while two dads was driving. The Santa Fe. They've been driving together since 2007 when they first when, when they first met up. They talk to the channel on the train, talk about their family ships. To talk about how the, the Santa Fe train going by itself with his other co owner of the train again. And they say it was going one one the dad one John said it was good. Then Michael and I just gonna call him Michael. And Michael said that's good. But they didn't know that one one of the the, the graffiti person damaged the Santa Fe train engine, causing the brakes to malfunction as soon as they get up that hill. They said John and Michael said a whole this goes well because we want that bonus check. And then John said, I hope so, because this is, this is needs to be good. And the train speed ups uphill at 60 miles per hour. John John and Michael said, whoa, whoa what's going on, what's going on? And, jo and John said, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is not happening, this is not happening. They got too worried the train was going to crash at their last moments. They, they both back out the train and speed up the hill. But then they realized their, their train was going too little, too fast, and those emergency brakes. And then the zest struck. The train cargo cars derail uphill. Soon as they turn the curve, they started saying, oh my gosh, what's going on, what's going on, we, we, we over the bridge, what's going on, what's going on? They tried knowing what's going on, but not a second later, there was another train that was coming right towards them, and didn't know there was another train in front of them.
there was a train that was brand new for the KD train. It was a KD train and a new BNSF train. They didn't know until a few seconds later, disaster struck. They called for emergency as quickly as possible, but no, no one did respond. So they sat down and tried to figure out what to call. But they couldn't know what they could do. And then the BNSF and Katie train was heading straight towards them sooner. As it got dark at at eleven oh two, the kids and the husbands started getting worried that they were not coming home. They felt like they both had a collision or a crash or accident. But they were both but to see the horrifying sight that they're gonna see. The Nash Freight Train and the Katie was taking their final service, which is 653 and 234, which is 2134, because they had the two, the one, two, three, four car. That makes no sense. And Trey was doing their final run, going up that steep hill. The one else was too short. The two, the one driver was Hudson, was driving the train. John and Michael were trying to figure out what's going on. And they looked out the back. They trying to see what they could do. They tried to accompany the train, but when they did, the train went, couldn't move. As it passes the crossing at 11... 12 at the least out of the, the Santa Fe yard let him back up towards the cargo end 653 wants to be here for a disaster strike the Nash Freight and Katie train was going up those hills at 60 miles per hour up the hill. They didn't realize until the singles was supposed to be on the other side red. But until it showed red when it looked back. And they tried to figure out there was another train. But that racing was their train to stop. But they did not listen. They thought the green was their stop. And they thought it was another train of fire that was coming. But they still go at the persistent speed going up the hill and slowing their train down. The train starts slowing down and slowly stopping. They increased full power up the train hills, but they couldn't. So they slowed the train down and races back down. But a few seconds later, one of the person jumps out of the train and uncouples it. The train started going downhill too fast. To both John, I mean not John, Hudson was running to uncouple the car as fast as they can. But it couldn't. The train slowly stops. And he uncouples the car.
He tries to slow his KD train down to let his first train go first. Ah! No! The two trains couple again. This was a bold disaster between two trains. The, the disc badger was thought, was thought asleep inside the train. John and Michael instead uncouples their train before they fall to the to, into the situation. But they got worried that there was another train that could head towards them at a few speeds. They did not see no train. No train or nor they see nothing. It was too little, too dark to see. And no emergencies was respond. They, they, they had no internet connection to get to the destination or any now in one cause. Now I'm supposed to get back up here with my slow legs. They are couples to the train and caused the dispatcher so many times that I did not listen. The dispatcher saw everything and then the Santa Fe train crashes and kills both John and Michael. Then the whole disaster was found. Hudson was arrested for for going on the wrong track, going uphill, as it hit the morning. They found the Santa Fe train crash into the ground. Well, all power out. John, John and Michael both passed away. Michael passed away at their whole, a heart failure. When he was trying to get up, and the Nash Freight was trying to get up back up the hill after Hudson ran away because he started hearing cops. He was later arrested and went to jail f for six years. The explosion cost five dollars, it cost like $650. On Saturday weekend, on July 1st, 2020, a CN train number 1188 was making her last run from the CN yard to the cargo, the cargo area. It was carrying box, it was carrying red box cars and three auto racks, which is uh, five box cars for the delivery with metal and scrap metal and dangerous stuff for the science and project for the train track system. The auto rack had the three auto racks had extra tutorials for the test and community. Tests. It was filled with metal, wood, steel, wool, and soft things inside. With boxes and a lot of tutorials inside. The train was only using one CN engine as it runs down the track. Let's run starting tracks.
the CN train was also making for their last runs to get there as quickly as possible. CN train was one of the uh the Kennedy National Railway trains with their stream ERA cars. CN train number four thirteen had a runaway accident. Even more that sparks out flames after the accident. To this day, again, a CN train is no longer the train that I was talking about. CN train number GE-9 was an engine train that was fully loaded with a lot of stuff and Long and huge stuff they never seen, and it was heavy and kind of packed a little. The uh, the CN train lines had turbo train and a lot of different trains that be running with the CN train tracks. Like the CM413 accident. The train engine was a former EJE SD382 or a um, CN train, which is the GNDD CN SD58F or CD. I mean, CD50AF or CD60AF. This train was running down the tracks at 29 miles per hour. Then they kind of speed it up at 60 miles per hour down the tracks. You know, I like the inside, though, which is this is like a new train in this game. These trains was wooden trains, which is like a New York City and Philadelphia and more to this day. But then the brakes started failing soon as they passed over green signal. Then they tried slowing down the train with their emergency brakes and it started burning into flames down the tracks and it slowed down. The train slows down at a precision speed at 40 miles per hour between 41. They blow they blow the horn that the train was an emergency. The train was going down the tracks a little bit too fast, and the train started percentages too little too fast at 65 miles per hour. A CN train was getting prepared for the runaway train. The train backs up at 40 miles per hour and turns onto the lead switch. The 
as soon as it got darker, they waited for for the train to come in. And then, five little seconds later, they see the train going too little too fast. Oh, no, no, no. He tried running for the train, but the other angel was going too fast. He jumps to the auto rack train, tries slowing it down. He tried making it derail, but nothing still happens. He runs to go to the switch as, f as fast as he can before the train enters the state. He tries to grab it on the train as possible as can. He slows the train down and backs the train up. He backs his train as fast as he can before the train starts crashing. He stops his train. In front of his train, he slams his brakes as 2805. The train finally stops at the perfect stop. Seeing train was was heated up with the brakes as seeing train number 1188 finally stops. Seeing train number 2805, which is 1166, slows down the seeing train from crashing. He calls 911 in emergencies for the, the accident that, that happened. He goes inside his train and tries to see what happened. Ah, I can't jump in. He backs up his burning train and his train was so here. Finally, everything stops. He told the cops and 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 the help inspectors that what happened to the CN train. As he was moving, his train started malfunction. He tells everything the truth. He was little, he was arrested. For only for two days, because the people think that he's lying. But until they found out the truth, they felt the brakes and it was still heated. And it could have burst into flames and making it come off the rail. He finds a 2805 scene train that no one ever used yet.
for two days. And he, and he borrows it and locks the keys on and started racing that train. He jumps out of the train and rushes to the other side to get his train. But slows the train down. After the accident, he carries his train right back to where it was. It took him long to get his train to start after he was burning out those those train cars up those stuff. The emergencies wasn't coming yet, but they were. He backs up his train and he was gonna light it up in the cargo side area with the the, the, the box truck and uh, the, the the metal thingy, whatever it's called up there, with that yellow one that, that I just passed like right now. He goes onto the Jason track. And it switches. He was a lifesaver from saving his train from crashing anywhere. Into any homes or any trees or any switches or crossing with the cars. He slows down his train to the cargo yard. Everyone was clapping for saving a train. He was he was back to working. And he earned a lot of bonus money for saving his, his whole train from any dangers. Michael, Michael Hudson earned a lot of money after saving his train for any crash accident. He just he moved his train on self mode so to keep his train to uncouple the other the other team train. Ow! What is it doing? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, guys, I can't get out. I can't get out. I can't get out! Yo, the train No, 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 no. The emergencies came just on time. No, what the heck? -y? I'm stuck inside the... Oh, dear. Give me out, give me out, give me out. Hold on, little buddy. You better slap butt down. You better hold on. Let me stop my train real quick. Why is it? Okay. Hello? Okay, I don't know why it's still moving. Hold on, let me get inside one of my cars and try backing up this train. He backs up the broken engine train, which is which is the SD something that I forgot, because these, these things are long name trains and all that. The emergency cops races to the engine because it was moved by itself on self mode. And he runs to it. He said he got this by itself because he's a helping inspector that was helping after a flood in New York City. <laughs> I used to be doing these stories because I just felt that, that everything's real from this point. So he switches the track. He ever said, he ever said before he's before his train crashes into a two engine train the benign service. Sorry I haven't made no videos. It, it, the Xbox been the Xbox haven't turned on. They just be acting up with this reset thing being the way he and all that. That's why I haven't made videos. And then I couldn't make videos because my brother just to be ruining it and I'm Bet they did. Finally, he remembers everything that happened. He was a lifesaver for saving his train for any hard accident. On Twitter and other page areas and social medias was getting popular by him. He made a new channel called 
the help inspector. I'm gonna take a photo of this. Should I, you guys? Can't believe there's no freaking photo. Do I have photos in you? Oh, yes, 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 I got you. Yes, let's go. Let me. Uh, let me end the video because I don't know it's going to glitch. So, but thank you guys for watching this Runaway Trains and more. This is the only video I can make. Or I'm just going to make another one like right now after I do this. So, yeah.